Hey everyone, today I'm going to be walking you through a painting I did recently. This is a commission for a friend of mine. Uh, she wanted me to paint one of her discus fish. I had done a painting recently of a whole bunch of them were, but she just wanted one of them done this time. So I'm taking a neutral desaturated green and blocking in blurry shapes for the plants in the background here. And now I'm going to start sketching the outline of the actual fish. She is a very vibrant orange red. And I'm paying attention to her body shape and the flow of her fins. Now I'm taking a golden yellow and blending that in around where her face is, blending it back and forth as well as the back of the fins here, and a little bit of the body for a little bit of the highlight. Start sketching in the eye here, in the shape of the gills, as well as the darker pattern on the edge of the fins, and shaping out the tail. To make it slightly translucent for the tail, I add a little bit of bluish color from the background. Now I'm just lining out these fins here. continuing to highlight with that gold and following my reference. Now we're taking a pale white and sketching in the skin pattern. This will take some time. Just follow your reference. As you start getting closer to the back of the fin here, start adding specks of the background blue in to add some transparent areas. And then darken the edges of those fins. And keep going in with that pale white and Filling in your pattern. Just I'm gonna let you see this for a little while. Just blending in some of the shading on the tail here. Taking that same pale white and adding some highlights onto the tail as well. There's some stripey patterns there too. I also blend that in to use highlights. And just defining the fins underneath the body here. lining up 
the eyeballs. Eating the edges. I'm gonna start sketching in the mouth now. Fish do have lips, so make sure you draw those. Fish lips. Now I'm adding a light lavender for the reflection on the white spots of its skin. For the upper light source from the water's surface. Just defining some of these edges. Sketching in the fins here. And I have to be adding a little bit of a highlight as well as some background blue to show that there is a fin there so that it's not the same color as the body. And now I'm going to be hand stippling in some darker patterns onto its skin. And you can do this here by hand or you can use a spray brush effect from whatever program you're using. I use a combination of both. Sometimes I like to add a little bit of a hand touch like this because it looks um, more hand painted, I guess, than using stamps or brushes that create a speckle or spray effect. But um, the combination of the two is really nice. You see here I start to use the spray brush. Continuing to add some shading here, making sure I add it to the white parts as well. Kind of a purpley blue effect on it to make sure it looks like it's still kind of underwater. And adding some highlight to the fin. Some definition to the bottom of the hands here. And using a multiply layer with a purple, I'm going to shade in the bottom there. And also shade in the sides of the body. Give it a little bit more of a 3D look. And just defining the edges of the body a little bit more. And now we're going to be painting gravel with a beige gray color. Taking the different values of that to make the pebbles, just blotting them in as dots. Now I looked up uh, quite a few references of fish tank plants to try and get an idea of what I wanted to draw here. Um, I tried to incorporate various different types of greens, uh, bluish greens, more brown greens, more yellow greens, to add a little bit of a variation but keep it all green so that the fish stood out from the background. And again, I used references for these so that they would sort of look like real plants. And I'm making sure, again, to pay attention to where my light source is coming from. I'm going to start to add a little bit of a rock formation behind the fish as well. 
this is all on a layer below the fish so that I could manipulate that later. I usually do everything on one layer um, and try and keep it similar to traditional paintings, but this one I wanted to have a little bit more flexibility since I was uncertain with what I wanted to do for the background just yet. Sketching in the shading for that rock formation. Keeping in mind the light source. And now I am blobbing in a faint outline of a plant in the background here with a greenish blue. Keeping it rough and blurry so that it looks like it's in the distance. Um, if you keep the background elements blurry and rough, um, they will look further away. Um, as long as you have everything that's closer, more saturated and more defined and more detailed. Like these plants here are very crisp and very colorful, but the ones behind in the background are very foggy and covered in a lot of blue haze from the water because water distorts where the sunlight comes through and it doesn't take much distance to start creating a blue haze on everything that gets further and further away from your view. So you want to incorporate that into your painting. I'm just adding some moss under the ground here. With some highlight. And just finishing up a few details in my signature. I think that that is about it. Thanks for watching guys. I really enjoy making these videos for you. If you like what you see and you want more, make sure you like and subscribe.